Hi everyone, welcome to Testing Universe. In this entire series, we are going to identify different exceptions and errors we encounter in Selenium and we will also see how to resolve them. Whenever we get some exception and error while writing our automation script, we will get the entire trace of that particular exception either in our console or in our uh, exception logs. Right? So, by looking at that particular you know uh, exception trace you will be able to identify identify from which line that exception has been thrown and what is the mistake you have done couple of exceptions will uh, give the detailed uh, explanation or detailed information where where and and which element or what is the you know exact mistake you have done uh, because of that that exception has been thrown but couple of exceptions will be there where you will not have any information we are going to talk about one such exception in this particular video which is called invalid argument exception and we'll also see how to resolve that so let me go to my uh, eclipse and uh, i have to script over here see if you can see here i'm going to open google.com and then i'm going to enter right this particular text testing universe youtube channel playlist and then i'm going to submit right the same script is also over here I am trying to deliberately uh, you know fail this particular script okay but this script I am not deliberately failing so if I go to my google.com if you can see google.com and then if I inspect this particular element right if you go to name name is Q name is Q so I am using that particular you know name is Q perfectly here and then here I am trying to you know deliberately fail that particular script I will tell you why why I deliberately uh, try to fail that script so let me just uh, run this so whenever uh, I run this particular code I'm going to get one exception which is called element not found exception because it is not going to write it will not be able to identify the element with Q1 because the element what we are uh, we have in the application is Q you can see here no such element exception and then you are going to it is going to you know give you the detailed explanation like what is the element right which you are trying to uh, address right so because of this particular element it is getting that error right if I if I change this to Q1 to Q it is it is going to absolutely work fine so if I change this Q1 to Q and then if I run it again you will not get that exception so this is this is one type of exception where you will get or it is going to point out where exactly you know you have done the mistake and then if you correct that mistake you will automatically be able to run your script if you can see here it has entered that text and then it has hit the submit button all right so I am going to run my first script it is it is also same script and then I don't have Q1 here I have Q and then I'm using google.com right so let me run this particular script again and let's see what happens so this should this script should uh, run perfectly fine but looks like we have some error okay so what is the error if you can see org dot open qa dot selenium dot invalid argument exception invalid argument so in our previous exception it has given what mistake you have done right but here I am not getting anything I am not getting anything like what is the you know mistake you have done what is the invalid argument I have passed to a method I am not able to you know uh, get it it is just throwing exception in thread main and then it is invalid argument exception let us see if I go to this particular you know last line right the the line 17 when I click that it is going to take me here so driver dot get and then it is saying invalid argument here it is strange right because when I when I have opened my google.com you can see here google.com has been opened so this is the you know the entire domain name and the with the help of that domain name we are able to open the application in our browser but when I pass the same thing here it is not able to uh, you know uh, identify this right the, the main reason is 
so selenium will accept or it will send the request in the uh, in the form of http with the help of http protocols and it always accepts the fully qualified name it always accepts the fully qualified name what do you mean by fully qualified name so this this particular uh, you know domain will have certain protocol either http or https but it is not showing here how how exactly so since it is google chrome right you can right click on this see you can see here always show full url ideally we have to pass this particular you know full url in the sense with the with protocol you have to pass the entire domain name so if i do that now if i do that and then if i run it again i should not get invalid argument exception so that is the that is a very simple fix but you will be wondering why what is the mistake i have done right or sometimes what happens see you can see here google.com has been loaded and then it you have entered the text and then it has submitted so but by directly looking at this you will come to know but sometimes what happens you will be building this particular entire url and then you will be passing that particular string here in your automation frameworks right you might commit such mistakes for example string protocol is equal to https like this and then what is the domain name or you will be getting those details into your method right by uh, uh you know uh, with the help of some data provider or something right this is domain name is equal to right so this one and then i will be protocol plus domain name you can you can uh, concatenate the string right but let's say when you are getting this particular uh, uh, protocol what type of protocol you have to use along with the domain name when you are getting that protocol to this particular method if you got it as null if you have got it as null then it will it will just you know uh, execute domain name when you execute just domain name you are going to encounter invalid argument exception let us run this again and see how exactly you know uh, it works you can see here again invalid argument exception you have got the same one and then when i when i click here you will be wondering see i am i am just passing protocol and domain name and i will be getting protocol and domain name from uh, from the data provider or from some other method the the protocol and domain name has been passed but by mistake protocol has come as null then you have to trace it back and then you have to debug back to that particular method whether you know it is coming or not and then by in these situations you will be wondering what is the mistake here because i am just passing protocol and domain so it is a very simple fix and then because of that fix right you will not get the, this particular exception so there is one more method in which you will be getting the same exception which is driver dot navigate i'm sorry driver dot navigate dot to okay and then you will be passing protocol plus domain name okay so for this method also you are going to get the same error let me run it your chrome browser will be loaded but it will not right load the entire domain if you can see here you are, you are getting the same exception which is invalid argument exception so it's a very simple fix you need to have http or https it depends right couple of uh, you know uh, websites will have only http couple of websites will have https so 
whatever protocol which is you know uh, your website is using that protocol you have to pass you cannot simply pass http or https okay so as i have already mentioned with, with for these two uh, methods you will be getting and then the whenever you are passing the url without uh, the protocol you will be getting that particular exception so if 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 i if we just nav go to navigate dot two right if you can see here just for your reference right so it will be accepting void to string url it will be accepting url must be a fully qualified url okay it should be a fully qualified url what do you mean by fully qualified url along with your protocol you have to pass that okay so that's a very very simple fix right and uh, we will also come up with lot of uh, other exceptions in this entire series and you will uh, you know get to know how to resolve them and what all different scenarios you are going to en encounter those exceptions thank you so much for watching